Hello there, this is my second trip to this place. Just got permission on here. And uh, thank you, Gordon. I can do the plowed bits. What I had to do down the end where it's green. But today I'm going to go across here, across the plowed bits, down in that little dip over there. Last time I was here, been here once, sort of a recon mission. Just did down these tracks. Up and down them. Didn't bother doing this end because it's too close to the road, too much crap. There's my trailer sport, my little ped. There's all my gear. White's Classic 1, my brother's metal detector. My one's broken, so I've kind of borrowed it. Homemade spade, a beast of a handle. Yeah. Last time I was here I found not a great deal, but an interesting pin badge, something to do with Life Boy Soup Company. And a few little gizmos, which I'll show you sometime, maybe the end of this video. I'm not going to film here, it's just too muddy. And that is like climbing the bloody Alps. So rough. Kind of stagger over it more than walk over it. Anyway, if I find anything decent, which I don't really know, which is decent because I've been doing it three months, but <laughs> I'll switch the camera back on. Right. Let's do it. Sounds rubbish. Oh, probably rubbish. Carry on. I'll keep the camera on for a little while, so I can't be asked switching it on and off. dinner and dinner's over go again I marked three targets with sticks so I can get a bit of a live dig going on I marked four really there's one here in here I'm not digging that today I can wait for another day there's an old bottle Onto the first stick. More than likely crap because um, down this end in this corner there is a lot of rubbish. But I found the fibula brooch just over there, about 20 or 30 yards from the edge. So it's worth looking. First one is right here. Rubbish. 
rubbish, so... Well, that is... Shell. Out of the hole, and then we'll see what it is. Again. Oh. Bottle cap. Screw on. Over this side, I think. Just fell out of my hand, whatever it was. Nah. What that is a piece of bronze or copper by the looks of it. Check it out later. On to the third one. Now I'm going to switch the camera off and start detecting again and I'll switch it back on if I find anything decent. This don't sound brilliant but you never know. It's right on top so it's probably not brilliant. In there. piece of lead. Oh well, switch the camera back on. Go anything else. I was jumping around so I don't know what that is. No. It's the second one of these I've found today. Looks interesting. see something. Right, and the good vines. Got another one of them there. Other bits and pieces. Which will I've identify at some point. <laughs> Crack on. Like I say, there's a lot of rubbish on this field, but amongst it all, quite nice things.
Well, a little bit of tin. Oh, oh well. Down the ploughed field today, beautiful morning. Although this morning it was a hard frost and a light cover of the snow, you wouldn't think it now. It's scorching out here. Might be able to see my spade there, just stop for a break. And uh, doing these fields, I've been. I haven't been in this really rough stuff. But in the stuff just beyond it, it's beaten down by the rain a bit more, makes it a little bit easier. Been up and down a couple of times. And, uh, about halfway through today's hunt. This is what I've found so far. Focus on it. Zoom out a bit. Right, we've got a coin. No idea what that is. No idea what that is. Not that is. It's an old spoon or a fork handle. A musket ball. I know what that is, looks like a dust cap, but you never know. Chunk of metal that gave out a really good signal, so I don't know what it is. This is the second one of these I've found. Kind of rivet thing. Bronze and brass, or all bronze, or brass and copper, I don't know. Anyway, keep the camera on if I find anything good or if I get any really good signals. Right, got a signal here, it's pretty jumpy though, but we'll dig it anyway. Some of that bronze stuff comes in really sort of fluttery sounding. chunk of iron. Massive peg. Right. Back to the edge. Take that with me. A good splitting peg for wood. Right, turn the camera back on, we'll get another signal. Oh, big brass nut. Whee! Brass. Ah, oh, 
sun viper. Put ten or something. Oh. Gnarly signal there. I think I could see it. I think it's a sun baby. Yeah, it's a button. A brass button. Oh well. Carry on. Get a few things. Fluttery signal again. Sometimes they're good stuff though, so worth digging. Right, got to be in that. No. What's that then? Stone. Well, it must be tiny, I lost the signal completely. Oh, small. No, brass, bronze, copper, who knows? Give it a quick brush up. Sure. For that later, probably a broken bit of something. Crack on. Flattery signal. Oh, sounding better. Hopefully a bit of bronze, you never know. Still in there. Out of the hole. Oh, look at that bit of crap. Lovely.
Oh, there it is. The brass plate. Another bit of brass plate. Found a few of them. Well, they're off. No, nope, try again. Right, I spy on my little eye. Two pieces of clay pipe. Like I said, I pick them up, don't know why. That double dinger. Two sunbathers. Right, see if we can find some more metal. Right, just found this, don't know what it is. Curious. Oh, it's got a thread on it. Tape it there. It's a bit odd. Strange. Plastic on it. So it's not old. Curious. See what that could be. Yeah, later. Carry on. Well, I just dug this. Don't know what it is. Looks like some little clip. Some remains of like silver on the front. Don't really know. Suspenders. Oh, that hinges. Oh. Curious, huh? Go later. First horseshoe off the field, little one. Wicked. That's a nice horseshoe. Wicked. Should we find some good stuff?